I'm in the beautiful lakeside town of Chelan, Washington, to help a husband and wife repair their bad reputation. They have built walls around themselves. They are absolutely no part of this community. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. There's no such thing as a fresh burger. What? And they are so stubborn. You don't even know the fucking story. It'll be a challenge to get through to them. All you've done since I've arrived here is lie to me. And I totally fucking disagree with that. Chelan, Washington, surrounded by the gorgeous Cascade Mountains, situated on Lake Chelan. This small town is home to the Lakeview Hotel and BC McDonald's restaurant. Owners Brent and Anthony McDonald have been in business here for over 15 years. We bought the hotel in 2000. We came into town and, and a lot of the locals, they really didn't want to see us make it. They figured they won't be here long. Well, I let them know that we are going nowhere. You're stuck with us. The Lakeview Hotel is adults only. We think that it's the nicest hotel probably in the state of Washington. We have a great place here, BC McDonald Lakeview Hotel, but business is really slow. We're losing probably 30,000 a month. Easy. The financial situation here at the hotel and the restaurant, it is tough. And this year it's extremely tough because we had wildfires in the area. And quite honestly, that's what kind of has broke the bank. The majority of the reason why there's no consistent business here is Brent and Afni's reputation. And I'm talking. I am talking. Customers come in and she said, you hurry up, you go sit down. I turn in, you sit down, we'll be with you in a minute. I'm the best employer in town. I think I'm easy to work with. Just be quiet, will you please? You know, I don't know why people don't like to be here. If you want to keep money flowing through, the locals need to like you. And, you know, if you have a bad attitude towards the locals or other customers, they're not going to come back. Get out there and do a little dance. Come on. I know you used to pole dance. Get your ass out there. I definitely get very embarrassed by some of the things he says. Well, I hope you got a lot of energy tonight, because, oh, no. baby, this is, this is no, Friday no. night. Friday night. People are coming to a nice restaurant. They don't want to hear dirty jokes and cussing and everything like that. Brent does not like to be told anything. You can tell him the sky's blue, and he's, it's going to upset him. I think that people are lucky to work for us. I think I got a great management style. Chelan is, is a beautiful town. The opportunity is there. Um, we just get overlooked because of Brent and Anthony's reputation. All of our money that we have made in the last 30 years has been sunk into this business, and we have so much invested, we cannot stop, because otherwise we're, we're done. Could be. Okay. So. That's him. I did say Valley Park, right? Yeah, it's not my eyesight. Maybe he thinks he has the wrong place. Oi. Valley Park is not. Wow. Oh, baby. The best breakfast, lunch, and dinner in town. Come on Hello. in. Come on in. How are you both? Good afternoon, yeah, good Chef afternoon. Ramsey. Wow. What a gorgeous drive that was. Oh, thank you. Uh, how are you? Oh, I always ladies first. Yeah, I, know, sorry. I, I, well, I totally understand that. Nice good to, to see you. Meet you. Yeah. Um, are we uh, the valley parking on strike? It is, this time of year. So it's temporary valley parking. Uh, what do I do in my car? Because you kept the sign there. I, I'll park it for you. How about that? Wow. It's the last time we dusted in here. It's a bit dusty in there. What's that there? Something is growing up there. Yeah. Can you see that, or is it me? Can I, you see I, that from I, there? I can see it. Wow. Yeah, it's right there. We missed I know you're one. both wearing glasses. I just want to make sure you can see it. <laughs> it's wow. Not, it's not real easy to see for me. How'd you get that down? Well, usually well, we, have we a, use we have that. We have a long pole, long pole. And where is yeah. the pole? It's, it's right in the uh, back here. 
be right back. Wow. Well, now you've made everything dusty down here. I've made it dusty. No, you haven't cleaned it. Yeah. Supposing that falls on a customer's head, what would you do? I don't, I don't think that it will, actually. Oh, you don't think it will? No. Well, it's been up there for about six months. It seems to oh, be know. growing, actually. That is disgusting. Yeah. Brett, shame on you. I know it. Wow. And what's in here? More dust over here, Brett. Look. Is there more? You must have missed that spot, too. There's a big, long, creepy yes, crawler hanging yes, down I, there. Yes, I see that. Wow. We've been closed for the last three right. weeks. When it's so slow this time of the year, we go on a holiday. And when you close, do you normally clean before you close? Or do you come back dirty? Uh, come back uh, the way it is and... Wow. Look at that up there. We're, we're living in a very uh, dusty environment here. That's bullshit. Yeah, OK. Uh, come on, seriously? This is mountain clean air. Well, that, 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 that's, that's all true, yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for that. No problem. I, I didn't expect to clean as I checked yeah. in. I know. Oh, my god, there you go. They are gross, right? Don't mess it up too much. It's all going to come down. Well, how long are you thinking of keeping it up there? We might as well do them all while we're at it. We might as well do them all. Yeah. It's not funny. I've got to get this thing out here. Holy shit. Look at that. Jeez. God damn it, Daphne. Well, Why I'm didn't you fine. get to that? And how long have you owned this place? 15. 15 years. 15 years. You was that just. The last time it was cleaned. It was clean. You just good. Oh, I was. You've got, a, you've got a great eye. Yeah, I can I tell you. I was just missed. I've done lots of things on arrival, but I've never quite cleaned shit like that from a ceiling. Yeah. Can I give that back yeah, to you? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's going on here? On the front door, you've got 40 flavors. Yes. Sino samples. Yes. When we're really, really busy, we have a line that goes out the door. Yeah, and stop talking and about if this, one person asks for uh, a sample, they will all ask for a sample. And how do you think all those yogurt franchises entice business? They offer samples, so they speculate to accumulate. Sorry, no samples. Sorry, no samples. Who comes up with all these stupid rules? Probably myself. Man, you like kicking the crap out of the locals, don't you? Yes. So I you take it we're not going to get. Oh, there's another one. Yes. There's me thinking that's a flavor. So, how long ago did this close? Oh my God, look how dusty it, that it, is. It's not closed. This is not closed? No, it's not. Stop. It is not. It looks like it's closed. Oh no. Bloody hell. Where's the stick gone? Please. Oh my God. This is monstrous. This is like a cobweb on steroids. Where's the stick gone? She's getting it. So, why did you close for three weeks? Uh, I went on a holiday. Wow. And where did you go? Mexico. Wow. Did you enjoy Mexico? Yeah. You we did. really en we enjoyed being uh, together. She only came for a week. She gives me what, what uh, you mean? a week oh, by myself. Week. Say, say that again? You go on holiday on your own? I do. Rest for a week, and yeah. your wife comes for the second uh, week? My wife and daughter meet me for the second week. Would you not like to go for two weeks holiday? I, well, I would love to if I have a chance. Oh, I see. Right. Um, I just want to yeah. get this thing down here. Have you seen the size of this one? Yep. Holy crap. Is that a keeper? That. Look at that. This is above a nice an cream parlor. If we turn that on, it's going to spin dust. Well, hopefully it won't. Well, oh, we... Look at that. Yeah, that is odd. Look at now. What? I, I think you're doing awesome, actually. I, I think that we should yeah. possibly hire him, really, you know? I'm glad that I'm hired to clean. Yeah, that's... Wow. Do I have to take this to my room? It may be a good idea. Are you serious? No. Let's go. No dust, right? Oh, shit. Whilst I'm up here, look. Oh, come on. No, but look at these ones here on the top we'll, of that. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, now you'll get it. Well, it's obvious that you haven't done it before. Well, Let's go. you know. How many rooms do you have here? Twelve. Twelve. Wow. This room probably isn't for you, but we're going to give it to you anyway. What do you mean by that? It's for people that haven't been laid for a while, quite honestly. Say that again, sorry? People that haven't been laid. 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 As in? As in? What's that got to do with me checking into this room? Wow. And this is a room for those who haven't been laid recently. You don't talk like that to guests. Well, this is an awesome room. It offers the best view that we have right. of the river part of Lake Chelan. Wow, wow. It has a stacked stone fireplace, awesome ceiling. I think they're 15 feet. 
And it's uh, an awesome dusty ceiling. See those beams? I can see. Yeah, I see that a little bit. Wow, man, what is it with dust around here? Well, as I said, we're in a dusty area. Apart from the dust, the rooms are gorgeous. Yes. These are the air conditioning uh, units. Where's that? So you don't have that funky thing down here that cries motel. I thought that was TV. No, it's uh, air conditioning. It's both, we program it for both AC or. Right, so where do I adjust the temperature? Uh, you don't. They're preset. It's set at 68 degrees. Wow. Why is it set like that? I keep the remote controls because yes. I absolutely know that they will get screwed up if I leave them up here in the room. You don't give samples, you don't let me keep the remotes, and you don't let me bring the temperature up or down. It's not really the get laid room, is it? Uh, that's up to you. Wow, but you're, you're setting the bar. You're, you're right. telling me what I can and what I can't do. Weird, very weird. Look how dusty this is as well. How do I open that up? So you got all these fancy would you, would you like me to open it? Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. When was the last time they were cleaned? That gets cleaned about twice a year. Ugh. Uh, would you mind if I just make it three times this year? Yeah, I think that sounds great, actually. OK. So the air conditioning unit you control, they have to breathe in this shit at night. Are you bullshitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. Right. Can you... Um, I will take that. Your mind? Yeah. I, I've got no interest in breathing yeah. your uh, dust. OK, I'm going to unpack and I'll be down in five minutes. OK. Please. Right. Wow. Whew. Honestly, look at that. It's terrible. Disgusting. Hello. Hi. Man, um, the dust when I walked in. What the hell is going on there? Bizarre. How long have you been here? A month. So you're a new kid on the block? I am, yes. Wow. <laughs> Do they go through a lot of stuff? I think so. There is some that have been here for years, but actually wow. the ones that were here, the cooks, they have recently yeah. left and I mean how would you describe them as bosses um different than any I've ever had yeah I'll say anyway let's order um obviously I was gonna have a glass of wine hoping to get sure. something local having just driven through those amazing vineyards but there's nothing local here <laughs> no I mean New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc how weird uh, what would you recommend for lunch what's the soup today the soup is a minestrone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, BC's bacon burger. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a, a pizza as well. The oh, homemade, right? Oh, sorry. Actually, we don't do the pizzas any longer. I don't know why the page is not taken out. Wow. Okay. Uh, anything else that's not on? We are out of the pork stir fry, and we do not have chili. Uh, no chili. Wow. Let's do a prime rib as well with that, shall we? Um. Please? I believe we're out of prime rib. Oh, we're, at, we're out of a lot I of things. I believe so, yeah. The um, turkey ciabatta dip is usually a good one. Let's, let's do a turkey dip. OK. Um, hold on a minute, breaking news. BC soon to be famous, teriyaki steak. What the fuck does that mean? When someone says soon to be famous, who writes this shit on the menu? <laughs> soon to be famous. Why would that be on the menu? I think we should try it. Let's go. Um, I think we're done. OK. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, mate. Okay, do you need help? Minister suit, right? Correct. Excellent. Wow, that doesn't even taste homemade. It's frozen. It's frozen. Yes. Frozen minister suit. Yeah. Okay. This is terrible. We've got the BC bacon burger. Wow. Jeez. Look how thin that is. My onion ring's thicker than my pate. <laughs> huh? Where are they from? I, I'll find out that answer. On the hamburgers, it says on the menu, certified Angus beef. Where do we get that? Are they fresh or frozen? No, we, we always come back that's frozen. Twelve ninety five. Let's have a cooked. And the, the, the pate is bland. It actually tastes frozen. But please tell it, me. It, it does come frozen. So it says fresh, and it's not anywhere near. $13 for that. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, the food coming out is very good. This is the um, turkey milk. Thank, Thank you. you. And what's this here? That is the broth for the turkey. The bed. broth. Mm -hmm. If you want to dip your sandwich in it. Holy <laughs> shit, what is that in there? Just have a little sip. Wow. So salty. Yes, it does. So bad. 
salty and bitter. Jesus. You want to taste this, actually. He had me taste it. Oh, yeah, it's really salty. Really salty? Yeah. Holy shit. This here is the teriyaki chicken burger. The nearly famous burger. What is that? What's he doused it in? Teriyaki over cheese. Oh, nearly famous. Because it's about to be famous to send me to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. I'll just have a coffee. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Right. Let's get reviewing. Well, headline, do not go here. If you want mediocre, overpriced food, this is the place for you. Unfortunately, not my dig. Bloody hell. Wow, well, this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. I mean, look at the headlines. What an odd place. The owner badmouthed another local place at our table. Do not go here. Run, 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 far away. Horrible service, terrible food, and stupid expensive. The owners are jerks who are rude and don't support their staff. They don't welcome kids. No wonder this place is empty. Isn't that bad? It is. It's very awkward. You know, Afni says they don't listen to this. These are customers. They're all right. negative. And psst, FYI, <laughs> no samples allowed. That's right. It's a tight bastard. Yeah. Is he really stingy? Absolutely. Is he? Yeah. And the lack of, you know, children. Or... And they do have a um, teenage daughter. So they have a teenage daughter, but they don't welcome kids. Yes. He goes on holiday for a week on his own, suns himself, gets nice and bronzed, then she joins him for the second week. But he wants a week on his own. Oh. It's just like, wow. what are you talking about? I had not heard that. Yeah. What a creep. Yeah. If I did that to my wife, she'd kick me in the nuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm at a loss. This place is depressing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to um, get the owners down here. Let's just have a little debrief, shall we? OK. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Jesus Christ. They want us? He does. Yeah. Let's go. It's okay. Take everything it's fine serious. With me. Don't say anything. No. Make like fun. No, no. You think that is not Stop fun? Stop it. Okay. I'm at a loss. The biggest kick in the balls for me is that on the menu it states homemade, fresh, daily changing soup of the day. Your soup of the day, mm -hmm. Brent, is frozen. Can you make minestrone soup? Yes. How much does it cost to make a litre? A uh, couple bucks. Tell the owner. And you have the nearly famous burger. I'd like to congratulate you because it's now famous as the most disgusting bit of shit between a bun I've ever seen. You have a slice of red onion that's thicker than your pate. It was frozen. And you're charging $13.95 for it. I don't know how low we can go. The list. Everything's from New Zealand. There's not even a local wine on here. Well... Give it to me, then. Well, I'll give it to you. Most of these wineries all opened up restaurants. There, there are competitors. So you can't support the local vineyard? Yeah. Well... I came in here to help. I'm laughed at, lied to, and fed frozen food. And as an owner, you two can't be that gone. Otherwise, I'm going to go. Right before dinner, I had a chance to catch up with Teddy, the manager, so I could understand his perspective of what Afni and Brent are like as owners. Inappropriate things are commonly said. His personality has a lot to do with it. It's you know really common that he'll make you feel that this is the best place and you're lucky to be here. Their behavior as bosses is unacceptable. Wow, wow, wow. Clearly in denial. I appreciate the insight. Yeah. yeah well, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in there, yes? Definitely. And I want to observe what they're like during an evening at the Lakeview. So you have a key to the room, but let's hope that it's ready. A couple things that we're not offering, um, no Chilean sea bass, no pizza. So No pizza? No pizza, no sea bass. I'm very disappointing. Fucking hell. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally 
Would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? The burger is not frozen. It's the, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that like most oh, people do? Thawed it out. So it's not the frozen beef. then. It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out, and that to the, your customers is not a frozen burger. Well, <laughs> um, stay there. Let me just show you, you something. You. I'm waiting for him to come back. He's gonna ream me on something. Oh boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. No, your husband said it wasn't. No, what do you mean? No, it's, it's, it's frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It, we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. There's no such thing as a fresh burger, at least, at least here in eastern Washington. We, we cannot get fresh. There's no fresh. You find me the burger. Come with me. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome. Please come in out of the cold. Are you Dinner? Yes. Quick question. Do you love a burger? Yeah, I yeah. love a burger. Madam? Yes. Would you expect them to be made fresh here or frozen? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? Fresh all the way. No, should we tell them the truth? I mean, that's what we want to well, do. Well, we, we sell uh, our, our burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. But thawing them out doesn't make them fresh. fresh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Welcome, ladies. Hey, folks. How are you? Quick question. Coming out for dinner, would you expect a frozen burger to be served here tonight or a fresh one? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? I'll let you tell them. Oh, come on, you own the place. Stop. Well, we all of our beef that we get in, burgers, it comes in frozen. Okay. Our burgers, and we, and we thaw them out. Which, in his mind, convinces him it's fresh. Oh. Does that make it sound any better? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're still thank glad you. to have you. Thank, thank you. You, you. You bet. Oh, my God. After Brent tried to convince me that there were no fresh burgers in town... Hmm? I almost cry. It's OK. You did good, Anne. I'm proud of you. I walked directly across the street and ordered one. So that's the lamb burger. The nice to see you. Come into a restaurant like this, would you expect your burgers to be fresh or frozen? Fresh. Burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. That's the story. Thank you. So that is a lamb burger. Fresh. I'm getting sick to death of this denial, denial, denial. You've been making up bullshit oh, all fucking day. Yes, you, yes, you have. No. All your staff have the same thing to say. Passive aggressive, condescending, inappropriate and stubborn. No, absolutely not. The staff, the way you treat them. What? There you no, go no, again. Yeah. Denial, oh, denial, no, denial. No, no, no. You're just scared about employing a team that's going to tell you the truth. That is bullshit. That is not. Because you don't like them confronting no. you with the truth. Yes. Sir. You'll fire them. No, I haven't fired and then anybody. I heard that you fired your son. Oh shit. You don't even know the fucking story. He was having some issues, Gordon, and I told I him... I was aware of the alcohol problem. I was aware right, of that. Right. I was trying to save his life. Yeah. My brother's a drug addict. We put him in rehab seven times, unsuccessfully. I don't give up on him. Yeah. But what I'm more concerned about is that nothing's affecting you. It's like we're doing great. And, and generally, the place runs quite well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come with me. Just yeah, you and I. Is this a joke for you? Can you no. give us two minutes, please? No. Is this, are you fucking around? No, I'm not fucking around. Are you trying to pull the ball over my eyes? Oh, hell no. You know the business is dwindling. So you've got all these rules, no fucking samples, no fucking kids. This place is thriving with families. We really don't want to have crying kids here. I just, I just would like to have a uh, quiet getaway for, for our honeymooners and, and uh, birthdays and anniversaries. A honeymoon? Venture, they come down to a romantic dinner and eat a frozen burger. Come on. This place is hemorrhaging money because you're caught in a web. Delusional, stubborn, old-fashioned, and fucking pompous. Anything else? It's just a joke for you, isn't it? No, I'm just... Next time, I'm going to know to do a little dusting. Wow. A little dusting. Fuck me. How deluded. During dinner service, I decided to do some investigating in the rooms. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And after what I found, 
I gather the hotel guests along with Afni and Brent. Hey guys, come through please. Um, just very quickly, glasses on. There we are, come through. If you can just stand over here. Pillow left hand side, pillow number one. Mm. Can you see that? I can't see it, darling. You can't see. Maybe Afni? Yeah. Explain to Brent what this is. Uh, spot. No, it's... Spot? You yeah. don't know? Yeah, spot. Maybe this one will be a little bit clearer. Blood. Yeah, there we go, honey. Well, that's disgusting. Right. Afni? Yes? Brent can't see anything. I, 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 uh, go ahead. Where? I, well, I see that, of course. OK. I see that one. Yeah. You see it. This is the worrying bit. Mm -hmm. These are the duvets that have been on these beds. That was just washed one week ago. Absolute, Every single one of them. Absolute rubbish. And look at this. I mean, these customers, the, they're the ones you're taking the money from. Don't you dare tell me that was washed a week ago. Don't one you dare. week ago, I have Stop. the bills. We you have cannot be serious. We are serious. It was done, and that's that's it. We're not going to say that. I got the receipt. Right. But got... that is not clean. Oh, oh, that's bullshit. Clean. It was yeah, just it's done. bullshit. And this, go on. Oh. I see that. But one week ago, that was cleaned. I'm done with this bullshit. This is from years. Just stop. We did 13 of them stop one lying. week ago. And they're not cleaning them properly. Stop just for once today. Fucking lying. And look at this. I mean, that is not clean. That was just washed one week ago. Stop just for once today. Lying. Let's just stay there two seconds. What the fuck? Did you have any idea you're sleeping in that? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. I wish you can't I see that. I don't want to sleep in that. Brent? I... I, I see that. I want an explanation. Because all you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. Lied to me, lied to your staff, and I am not going to allow you to lie to the customers. And I totally fucking disagree with that too. I have not said one lie to you. Yes, I'm you not going to go for have. that. Yes, you have. No, I. You've been that fucking is fucking lying to me all day. It's not true. You convinced that thought food is fresh food. You're robbing them of their cash. You're telling me this was cleaned a week ago. Let me ask you a question in front of your customers. Would you sleep on that? No. So why do you expect them to? Would you sleep on that? No. Not an apology? Nothing. I'd like to apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm disgusted. I've had enough. Anything you'd like to say? The pillars like this? I apologize. Can I have a word with him on my own? Yeah. Would you mind? These guests are hours away from putting their heads on your pillows. Blood-stained pillows. Semen-stained duvet covers. And sweat accumulated over years. I, I can see that, Gordon. I am struggling. I'm struggling with your husband that's in denial. I'm struggling with these arrogance. And I'm struggling with these blatant lies. I'm not here to butt heads with a liar. I'm here to help turn this business around. <sighs> Afni, you can talk to me. Are you worried about Brent? He's my husband. Yes, I am. It's my life. We have a daughter together. Does your daughter feel this at home? Yeah. And he fell out with his son. He fired his son. Yeah. Does that still bother him? Is that what it is? He's still his son. Of course he's still his son. I still care about him. It doesn't sound like he's caring about him. The guy was drinking. He needed help. And he got rid of him. Is that what's bothering him? Is that why he's in denial? I need Brent to take his guard down. Something inside here is bothering him. I don't know if it's the financial debt, the pressure. Is it his son? I don't know. I can't get in. I want to talk to his son. How can I get hold of him? I got his number. Thank you. Afni, you're the only hope I've got. 
Can we work together? Yeah. And can we get him to yeah. open up? Okay. And tomorrow morning, I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. I really needed to break through to Brent and to see why he is so stubborn. So my team and I attempted to get hold of his son to meet me at the hotel, but we were unsuccessful. Now it's up to me to try to get through to Brent. Let's take a seat at the bar. I've got to get through to you. Why are you so stubborn? You got fucked off last night. I mentioned your son. Mm -hmm. Why did that hit a nerve? You know, we, we just had a, a, a breakdown in the relationship when his when his mom remarried. Yeah. Uh, they she remarried the same day the divorce was final. So party company with your son. Mm -hmm. You weren't even present at your daughter's wedding. I was not invited. I didn't even know she got married. I was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see their daughter. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got three daughters. That's painful. You know, when, you're, when your uh, kids tell you... I don't know, Gordon. Tell you what. Well, uh, <clears throat> I have three grandkids. I haven't even seen two of them. You know what? You know, I am stubborn. Maybe I am stubborn, but when you get shut off, and then their mom died. I thought, wow, maybe this is going to be my chance. Maybe they're going to come to me. But my but you can't. My son just drinks too goddamn much. I, but, but, I, but, that, but that, you're still their father. You're still their dad. I know it. You can't go around with that, 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 mm -hmm. that, that anger. I, 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 I've been waiting for them to come to me. Instead, instead of the other. That's never yeah. going to happen. Yeah. That's not well, that's, time. that's my proudness and my stubbornness, yeah. I, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to change your ways and you have to start becoming a lot more generous as an owner, as a father responsible for three kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm not here to fix your family. I'd love you to. I would so fucking love you to. And just you calling them, making an effort, they need to see the change, but you need to embrace that. Yeah. I agree. There's too much at stake. Reach out to those kids. You've got to bring those barriers down and you've got to open up and somewhere in there there's the friendly, comforting, supportive, you know, astute. Brent, we've got to get back there. Okay. Brent and Anthony's bad reputation within the town comes as no surprise. You got a picture there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Give me two minutes, please, OK? I've gathered local business owners to show Brent and Anthony the issues they don't realise they have. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, How yeah. are we? Good, good. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you for coming. You guys are the pillars of the community. You have businesses and you are very proud of what you've built here. And I've been struggling, trying to get through to Brent. He's in denial. I feel like Brent is an undertaker. Those people that are working for him, there aren't many yes. that have very good things to say. Wow. That's ridiculous. I had a friend that used to work here at BC's, and she had a customer that had a steak dinner and a baked potato. It was all great. And he wanted to take it with him, so she took it in the back and set it on the counter and went to get a to-go container. And Afni sc scraped it into the garbage. She said, well, uh, my customer kind of wanted to take that. And she watched Afni grab the baked potato, oh. wipe it off, oh. and grab the steak. Out the trash. And she made her give that to the customer. No. Oh. No free samples on the ice cream. How hard is it to give somebody a little plastic spoon? Wow. <laughs> what do they give back to the town? They are absolutely no part of this community. They have, they have built walls around themselves, and you need to take care of each other in the off season. It's locals taking care of locals. You know, I will <laughs> say with the fires, fire. you know, this whole town came together and I don't think I can remember them offering help in any way. It was a crisis that everybody found a need and everybody helped. Yeah, except them. Yeah. Except them. But that's the spirit of Chelan, I think is what we're getting at. We share tractors, we share, you know, from vineyard work to some of us have restaurants, so we share employees. He's oblivious. 
how come there's no wine from this amazing region on their list? When we first started our winery, his excuse was that the wineries have restaurants that compete with his restaurant. In addition to that, it, it would be a shame if there was just one good place in town to go to. We want tourists to come here and have a great time everywhere they go. So if, if he does well, we'll all do well. I really appreciate the feedback, but I want you to help me get through them on another level now because I'm going to go and get them. And we're going to tackle this head on. Uh, give me two minutes. Thank you so much. Do you want to go? It's really, really hard to take it. Let's go. Because we try really hard. It just shocked me. Wow. Hi. Hi, Hi folks. These are, in my mind, even more important than customers because you guys should be bonded. Clearly, you're not. Why is it taking so long? Sometimes you need somebody to slap your face. We were in a comfort zone yeah. somewhat and uh, used to the way we did everything, uh, you, you know, for a lot of years, and uh, it needs to be changed. Maybe, maybe we banked on the location too much. There's a lot of things we've done wrong. They're desperate to see you do well. Anything to say? There can never be too many fun, good places in town. We always want somewhere to go and relax and enjoy ourselves. I think we all want you back on our radar. All of this has been a wake-up call for us. This is part of the reason why we asked Chef Ramsey to come to help us. We're listening. We've, we heard everything that you had to say. And we are going to try to do much, much better. We're hearing you. I don't think that I knew how the business community was connected, that everybody is feeding off of each other. We have to realize that to be part of this connection, we have to change. With Brent and Anthony committing to change, my team moved forward, getting rid of all the dust and cobwebs. We furnished all the rooms with brand new bedding, but the biggest change was overhauling the ice cream parlor. Off we go. Ladies, welcome. <gasps> my God! Holy moly! Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what I call a parlor. You had a dreadful space yeah. here. Previously. Yes, oh my God. Now, it's turned into something magical. Do you think there's any chance that I can get a sample? <laughs> we will be throwing samples out everywhere. This is way beyond our expectation. Given the importance of the local wineries, I brought in Samilia Dave Foss. How are you? Who repaired the bad reputations with the locals that Brent and Afni had. You're going to need to nurture those relationships. And he created a brand new menu featuring all Washington wine. You're no longer going to have to say, sorry, I don't have any local wines. Finally, to accompany all this, I created a smaller, more exciting menu that features all fresh food. Dig in, have a little taste. Oh my god, this is so good. It's delicious. Oh my god. Mm. Everything fresh, better. Mm. It's fantastic. What I have learned from this community is that local support is everything, and this town is willing to give Brent and Afni a second chance. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Good to see you guys. Would you like to see my new ice cream parlor here? With all the new improvements, I'm hoping Brent and Afni make a good impression for the people of Chelan. I actually brought you a list of a lot of the purveyors that we work with. Cool. Oh, you want to check in? How are you guys? The hotel is booked up. This is just gorgeous. And the guests will sleep well tonight in the brand new bedding we've added to all the rooms. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try the feral salad. There's a real buzz about the new menu. Order up. And the kitchen is easily executing the dishes. A quiche, a chicken sandwich, and I got the salmon. Okay. What we're trying to do is just focus on the local wineries. With the help of Samilia Dave Foss, the customers are pleased with the local selection of wines they're offering at BC McDonald's. You like that? It's really good. Yeah? <laughs> I'm always making a mess. That's the idea. I'm the official scooper. The ice cream shop is a hit, and Brent is even happy giving away samples. If you drop it on the floor, you own it. Brent. With everything a success, I'm hoping Brent makes one important rule change with his hotel. 
Have you thought about what I mentioned about the children regarding children in the hotel, or are you still sticking with no children? You know what? I'm going to stick to the adults only. Adults only? Why? Well, look, at if you take two or three or four children up there, and I'm going to tell you, they wipe out the whole damn place. What, the noise? Noise, crying, whatever, uh, gum, and, uh, pop, and God forbid, uh, samples of ice cream. They will You have a young daughter. I know. I'm talking three, four, eight-year-old. Have you asked yourself the consequences you know, of my missing on turnover revenue? You know, we may miss a few, but I think we miss a few on the other end if there were two or three kids running down the hall. But not every, yeah. every kid is, is, is that noisy. I mean, just trying to be open with maybe a couple of rooms. I will give it thought. That's a tough one. I'm disappointed Brent won't alter his rules about allowing kids at the hotel. But hopefully, after seeing the success of the relaunch, he'll change his mind. Keep up the good work, yes? Ryan, do not let him go back. Absolutely not. OK. No. Well done. Yep. Thank you. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Everybody now in this town is rallying around for your success. Mm -hmm. Yes. So embrace it. Watching you stand behind mm -hmm. that counter, just mm -hmm. giving samples out and seeing the delight on the kid's face, that is extraordinary. It's awesome. Please don't go back. Stay strong. We will. Oh. There's an amazing guy underneath all those layers. There is? Yes, there is. I'm just... There is. Thank you. There is. You can do this, OK? I can do it. Yeah? yeah. Take care. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Look out. OK. And he's going to think about getting yeah. some kids in here. OK. OK. Yeah. We're, we're, not we're working bad. on it. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stubborn. OK. okay. A couple of scoops of ice cream goes a long way. Ooh, boy, it's really gone down, hasn't it? I'm getting money. <laughs> okay, thank you. Take so care. Yeah. Good night. Okay, bye bye. Despite my help with the outreach of the community, Brent quickly reverted back to his old ways, distancing himself from the locals. Much of the staff have left or been fired and the hotel's reputation within the town has only gotten worse. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know where in the hell everybody's at. I'm checking in to the historic Brick Hotel in Newtown, Pennsylvania, where I meet an overbearing owner who has run her business into the ground. No, 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 no. And what was once a proud landmark are they bullet holes in the wall? That's mold. <gasps> is now suffering from neglect. This place is disgusting. The road ahead is not going to be easy for me. I try to get through to the owner, who is totally oblivious. Thirty miles north of Philadelphia lies the borough of Newtown, Pennsylvania home to this historic brick hotel. Owner Veranda Kwa, a former therapist, bought the property in 2006 with her son, CJ, who serves as a silent partner in their business. We bought the brick hotel because it was an investment opportunity. When we first purchased the place, we were told that it was gonna be a sort of a hands-off. It'll run itself, you just have to watch it. Of course, we had no idea, zero idea what this business is about. I always said to my son, maybe this year we'll make a profit. Maybe this year we'll make a profit. And it never happened. She used to be in family therapy, so patients comes with that job. And I've seen her have a short fuse where she wouldn't do that uh, before we bought the place. When I came here, it blew my mind away that you're still putting in money. So I cut out a lot of stuff here, and it really annoyed and irritated people, and they basically started the dislike veranda plan. It has been a bit of a dictatorship here with veranda. You know, it's either her way or not her way. No, 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 no. Veranda is a control freak. She is involved in everything. She will not release or relinquish control ever. Here's the ball. You want me to put it in? She's not a people person. She has no people skills. She just screams out demands, and she's very rude at times. Paul, French onion on here, now. There is such a turnover with staff that I don't even know their names. 
in eight months, I've probably seen over 50 people go. Some people come in for one shift, and they listen to her for five minutes, and they roll right out the door. I wish I had two clones of me, and believe me, this place would be happy. I feel the brook might have become like the laughing stock of Newtown. So the reputation around town is that, you know, no nonsense. They call me the crazy lady, which is fine to me. You know what, if I'm crazy because I'm trying to save the business, so be it. I think we're at that point where this is really our last chance. If we don't figure something out, it's either sell it, get rid of it, because we can't sustain it. Before I came to town, I heard the Brick Hotel had a high turnover rate. So I had my team reach out to former employees so I can get some information before checking in. Uh, first of all, good morning. Good morning. I've never met such a large team of ex-employees. Uh, small showing. This is a small showing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, there's more? There's a hundreds. lot more. Hundreds. 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 I would yes. say hundreds. Um, how much turnover is there with staff? So when I left, Verindar had been through almost 50 managers. 15? 50. 50. 50 managers? 50. And the biggest problem with the place is what? Verindar. She's been cruel to people. I watched her, and she's, she's mean, and she can be a bully, and I've seen her reduce people to tears. Wow, that's terrible. You know, there's so much neglect between not only the staff, her managers, but her customers as well. Seriously? I couldn't take it anymore. I worked the holiday season, and it was kind of like the last straw for me. And what made you quit? I worked all of those parties through the whole month of December. I was lucky to receive some payback, like in February. With your tips? Yeah, she'll cut you a check in six weeks when she feels like it. She wouldn't let you go pick up your paycheck. She so... called the cops on you. You said she called the cops on you? Oh, all the time, yes. numerous yes. times. Yes. Seriously, called yes. the yes. police because you wanted your money? Yes. yes, you're threatening her. Yes. Seriously? I mean, it sounds like a dictatorship as opposed to mm -hmm. a boss that's there to support. People loved it there. It was very homey, the opposite of now. All the locals came. We had a booming hotel business. Wow. It was such a great place, and then the quality just steadily went downhill, and I think she had a complete lack of respect for the staff and didn't understand that your staff is a huge asset. What a mess. Can I ask you a question? Please. Have you met her? Oh, no, at least I just arrived. Seriously, oh, flew into Philly this morning. You are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious, just by the way you were speaking, because I thought, he hasn't met her yet, has he? No, no, no. So, calling the cops, you know, high staff turnover, um, standards dropping. I haven't got much confidence. However, I'm going to tackle it head on. You don't look very optimistic, do you? <laughs> I believe that Thank you. you. Can do it. Well, wish me luck. Thank you. Take care. Wow, look at the size of this place. Oh, dear. What happened there? Damn. When did that happen? You know, it's been here since I've been here. Oh, really? Hi, I'm Marianne. This place is here, too. Welcome Likewise, to good to see you. I get a bit nervous when I check into a hotel and the windows are smashed. Uh, uh, anyway, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Are they bullet holes in the wall? Oh, uh, you know, they might very well be. I'm not sure what they are. We're 250 years old, so... 250 years old? Mm -hmm. uh, what's wrong with the place? I think it's a beautiful place, but I think it really just needs some upgrading. And uh, which part's beautiful? Help me. Certainly not the entrance with the smashed windows. Well, I think it could be beautiful. Yes. It's been neglected for a while. What happened here? Oh... <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. That looks much better. Oh. Wow. Dear, oh, dear. I don't know. Brenda's not going to be too happy. <laughs> you just ripped the wallpaper down. That was fantastic. What time is the owner calling in? She might be here. I can check. I'd for love you. to meet her. Oh, he's bringing Verenda up. <gasps> Verenda. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, very well. A little nervous. Mm -hmm. Smashed glass, what happened there? It's been there since before I bought it. Uh, yeah, how long have we had the hotel? Ten years. 
10 years, yes. and you didn't think about replacing it. First impressions, customers walk through the door. It's, it's the original. Have you been drinking? <laughs> you look like I drink. <laughs> did you run a hotel before you bought this, 10 years ago? Yeah. Never, no? never. <laughs> no, what, what did you do? Therapist for children. I did that for 20 years, so that was my practice. Wow. OK, uh, 201. I'll see you uh, shortly. I'm going to go and check in and uh, unpack. OK. Uh, place is filthy. Uh. What in the fuck? Marianne? Hello? I, I need a rag, uh, napkin okay. or housekeeping, please. <laughs> oh, my. What? Oh. oh, Jesus. Let me get housekeeping for you. Housekeeping? Call cool. Fire Brigade. Hello. Hello. Are you the housekeeper? I'm not. I'm looking for. I'm, I'm right. Caitlin. Caitlin, uh, please meet me. So my hands are dirty, so I'm just going to shake hands like that. Me. I don't yes. want to shake hands like that. Sure, no. When was the last time this place was cleaned? There's dust and shit everywhere. Uh, Talay is here every day, uh, so I would assume. Right. Cleaning. I mean, under here, look, I'm not talking about a couple of weeks of dust. I'm talking years. And behind here as well, look. Hi, Claire. Hi. Oh, jeez, how are oh, you? Oh, hi. Are you good? Yes, I'm fine. Fine, right, yes. what do you do? Housekeeping. Stop. W which house? This house. Come over. Look at the mess down there. What's that? What's that? Fabulous. Let's get the place clean, fabulous. Let's just have a little test here. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Do you have a program that you clean floor by floor? A program? No. No. Uh, where is my room to... What to is that? Is... Your Jesus. room? No, what's that up there? Who sits here? <laughs> is it a fucking tea party for rats or Stuart Little in for dinner tonight? What the fuck is that? Oh. What is it, like, pet corner? We drop our cats off for dinner here? <laughs> Jesus. Man, who does this? You care to join me? Come on. <laughs> Go for it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's, let's sit at the brand. Let's talk about your cleaning habits. I think I can fit right here. No, no, I, I'm, my, okay. my, my, my butt's way bigger than yours. So take a seat. May we have some menus, please? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah it's, absolutely. It's, so, what in the fuck is going on? I actually said something about that, but you know, you comfy? Absolutely not. No. All jokes apart. Forget the mice party, tea party, Stuart Little's fucking hangout. What is the biggest problems here? Because I'm Things not... Things like this. The mold, the... The mold? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got rid of the dust. What do you mean, the mold? Where's the mold? Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, so... Take me to the mold. Oh, OK. Thank you. Excellent. Let's start this way. Right. Where? Let's go this way. We're going up. First. <sighs> mold? So I guess it starts, I don't know exactly where it comes, but it comes from somewhere on the shower curtains. I asked her, can we change it? She there is mold. Do you tell the owner to change these out? Yes, sir. And any response? She'll get to it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Come over. Is that mold? That is mold. Yes, I said that. That's mold. See it? Mm-hmm. Bloody hell. When was all the linen last changed? Look at the colour of this. How much sweat is on there? Oh, Look. man. Oh. Look at the colour of that. So that's what that is, sweat? That's sweat. And then, is that a, is that a tube television? How old? Have you ever heard of a flat screen? Yeah, I got five. You've got five flat screens? At my house. From... Uh, what a mess. What's that in there? What? A empty box of tights? Silk perfections. Jesus. Does the owner ever come into these rooms? Since I've been here, I've probably seen her in here maybe once. 
Once upon a time, these were white, right? You see these? Look at the colour of them. How grey and dirty. God, they stink. Oh, you can tell. This pool's a bit white. Oh, I was, man. I, I, I was worried about your eyes for a second there. Where's my room, please? 201. Please tell me it's not worse than this one. 201. Bloody hell. What a mess. Dust everywhere. And all this, what is this? Terrible. Girl. How are you doing? You found all the nasty. No. Oh, no. I thought that the curtains were gold. Duh. No. For real. They were supposed to be white. Oh, my goodness. I am appalled. And then just underneath it all. Right now, it's pretty obvious that the owner doesn't even put a cent back into this room, even into the hotel. But when an owner can't be bothered to change a smashed window in reception, I don't hold much hope for the rest of the hotel. And look at that up there. What's that? Check out time, 11 a.m. Yeah, I'll check out way before that, my love. Nice to meet you. I'm Tammy. Gordon, good to see you. Good to meet you. Um, and you're? Sales and event coordinator at The Brick. Rumours has it you do a lot of events. Do a lot of events. Wow. How many a week on average? About 350 a year. It sounds like this is the oxygen that's keeping this place alive. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Wow. What other problems are there? Help me. Uh, staffing is terrible. Why are there so many staff going through the door? What is um, it? Or Vrandar is firing them. Often I'll come in on Monday and see who didn't make it through the weekend, which is very tough to work for. The bottom line is the problem is the owner. Yes, there's nobody else here. You... Starts at the top. I appreciate your honesty. Well, we appreciate Thank you being here. After learning the hotel's revenue is strictly from events, I want to see how bad the food really is. Seasonal, local, fresh. Mm. I ordered a couple of items. The French onion soup, which was tasteless. That is so bad. Terrible. So I opted for something with a little more flavor. Mm, that tastes better. Mm. Then I ordered something I've never heard of before, a cauliflower steak, which by name I should have known better. That is a mess. Who put it on the menu? Miranda and a crab sandwich, which maybe I would expect to be frozen, but not from a can. Product of China. Fresh. Mm -mm. Seriously. Are we done? Is there a, did I... You've got your burger still. Do you know what? Cancel it. Absolutely. Because if it's coming from the same kitchen, forget it. Got it. Yeah, tell the chef I travel light and I haven't got that many fucking pairs of knickers. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's what freaking happened? out. He's freaking out. Cancel everything else. No more. No more. He's said enough. Uh, take me to the kitchen. Introduce me to the team. Place is huge. Kitchen is massive. Uh, so where's the chef? Miss, Hello. Monsieur? I'm not the chef. You're not the chef. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You are a chef, though. You've got a jacket on. Yes, sir. That's how chefs tend to dress. Yes. Maceo. Nice this to meet you. Barry. Likewise, good to meet you, too. And this Barry? is... Barry Sexton. Barry. So you got it. you're the chef. I'm not the chef. No, you're the chef. A chef, but not the chef. A chef. There's two of them. There's two of them. The other ones. Uh... But where's the head chef? Well, we have both of them in charge. No such thing. Your set of rules, your set of rules, doesn't benefit the customers. I'll come back to the food in a minute. I'm in shock. Before I got here, I met a dozen of your ex-employees. Okay. I couldn't believe the amount of staff that have left this building in the last two years. Why are you going through so many staff? I don't know. You don't know? I think I hire people and... Uh... Oh, so it's them. Not good enough for you? Yes. When you have a young member of staff that is owed money and they won't leave the building until you pay them and you call the police on them, what kind of business are you running here? Who said that? Are you saying now that they're lying? Please. I don't know. Because Are you I... saying they're lying? Simple, yes or no? I cannot tell people you cannot they're tell. lying. It's inaccurate, though. I do. It's inaccurate? Yes. 
I have witnessed Verandar call the cops on a number of people. She has a close relationship with the Newtown Police Department. Do you care about this hotel? It's not funny. I mean, I, I am not here to laugh. Let's get that right. Let's move on to my reception when I walked in. And there's dust and shit everywhere. When I say dust, I'm talking dust that's been embedded for years. And there's mold on the carpet. I'm a little bit lost for words. I ever sat down in the restaurant and had dinner? No. Right. Top of your menu, it's fresh, seasonal, local. It's canned food. I'm not a chef, and I don't know all these things. What's wrong? You're feeling sick? No, I need to take something out of the oven, sir. So you take it out of the oven. What is this? Tomorrow's chicken. Mm -hmm. I see you laugh. What is this? Again? You have to fucking wake up. Hi. Hey, guys. How are you? Excited? Yes, we're checking in. No problem. Bye-bye. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Nice, nice to, to meet you. Oh, first name is? I'm Jessica. Jessica, good to see you. I heard you had a great time today. Great time, not, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's wait and see. Uh, who's that? That is CJ. That is Verindar's son. Oh, hi. CJ. Yes, I'm wow. one of the co-owners as well. Good to meet you. How many times a week are you here? I'm here right now probably less than once a month even. Right. I've got another job that I pretty okay. much full time. What'd you do? Uh, manage IT. IT, wow. Well. Why did you buy this? Why did we buy this? It was an investment opportunity when we first got into it. We're told that it was turnkey, hands off. So that was 10 years ago? Yes. Have you seen any return on that yet? Zero. Zero. When do you think it's coming? <laughs> well, I have been talking about that quite a bit over the last six months because right. uh, it's getting difficult to keep putting money in. Wow. In your mind, forget him. What's wrong with the place? I'm very sorry, because I know this is your mom, but I, okay. can't, I can't deal with how she treats me. It's like when we don't need her here, she's here, and she's on me about the smallest things. Wow. <laughs> Do you have one foot in their camp or one foot in your mother's camp? Um, I'm split between the two. I've actually had employees tell me, why aren't you around more, because you're pleasant to deal with. How's this going to get turned around if she's still micromanaging and dictating to everybody? about how this place should be run. She says if she's not here, it's, things will fall apart and it won't get done. That sounds right. <laughs> anyway, here's customers. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Good, how are you? Welcome. How are you? You well? You guys have a reservation? Yeah, Weinstein. Sorry about the smash window. And the crab's from China. The crab's from China. OK. Good you guys can follow me. No. <laughs> I don't go to China for crab. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have one order for you. It's just the first course on the first table. It's just two soup of the days. Thank you. OK, who's next? Apple. I got all the soups, all right? Yep. First thing is this. It's a apple pear no blue cheese and an eggplant stack. Where's the apple pear? Can we get this out? Why is she doing this? Is she always on the hot plate? She is. She's never quiet. Which ones are done? Can you guys take those down? Is this done? No, I've taken my stuff down that's done. Yeah. Wow. It's a little aggravating. Guys, waiting on the red It's coming, Verinda. It's coming. We're working it hard. They're making us nervous. Oh, my goodness. Carly. Carly? What? I'm coming. What is Can that? You put this here. Take this. This is yours. <laughs> no, that is my New no, York strip. Not. This is craziness. Oh, man. Who's doing the cauliflower? Are you cooking the cauliflower now? Yes. Fucking nuts. I know she. I swear to God. Mason, can you flip this? And what's she doing cooking? I have no idea. Does she normally cook? Yeah. This is crazy. Absolute crazy. What a mess. Wheels are stuck. It's just sliding on the fucking grease. Oh, God. That is gross. Miranda, you got two seconds? Sure. 
Just stand behind there, will you? Oh my goodness. Just now, please stand behind there. I'm, I'm. What is this? Maceo, you guys just cleaned this. Is this from today? I don't even know what's back there, Verinder. What? When was that cleaned? It's, they just cleaned it two days ago. They got spilled everything there. Come here. I know, hand on heart, that is not from yesterday. That is not from yesterday. What's that up there? Seriously? Watch your eyes, watch your eyes. Who cleans this shit? Who is it? Since I've been here, no one's cleaned it. Since you've been here? No one's cleaned it. I appreciate your honesty. Brenda. Yeah. They're since they, no. since he's been here, he's never cleaned it. This place is disgusting. And this? Well, I, uh, Gordon, I don't come and do this. You don't want I trust them that they would clean where they are. You, you guys cleaned the floor the other day, didn't you? We cleaned the line the other day. We sweeped right. the line. You said you guys took out? No, no, I never said no, that. No. I never no? said stop, that. Stop, stop. I never You're said just that. trying to make excuses. Yes, you are. Aren't you embarrassed? Very. At least you taught the fucking truth. The owner's in denial. That has been pulled out for fucking months. That wasn't pulled out. What a fucking mess. What is this? Bloody hell. Holy crap. No, 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 put that one in there. Oh my gosh. What in the fuck is that? Gosh, what in the fuck is that? That's grease from the hood. Can you stop lying? That was not cleaned yesterday. I'm telling you, this is grease from the hood, but they haven't cleaned it. Do you have any idea what happened if that caught fire? I don't know. No, do you have any idea if that caught fire? I do. What are you doing? You stop caring. No, that's not. I mean, I That's the sign of an owner that cares? I want an answer. I'm going upstairs. By the time I come down, I want an answer. CJ, is he gone? I don't know where he went. Jesus. Oh, my God. Right. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. So... <laughs> I want to run a quick bacteria test. It looks disgusting. And I don't think these vents have been cleaned for years. Time to tell. Did you talk to Ramsey? No. He came down here looking for you. And she goes. Now, 10 to 20 is deemed as sort of clean, respectable. Anything over 30 is unhygienic, dangerous. And this is reading. Five hundred and seventy-three. Come in. You were looking for me? Uh, sit down. What is that? This is a very simple hygiene test. Anything above 30 is in the danger zone. OK. Five hundred and seventy-three from the air conditioning unit. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Sorry. That's... CJ. Yep. 573. Let's do another one. How long's this chair been here? I believe since we bought the place. Have you seen the stains on it? See the stains there? Yeah. Let's see what that says. Do you ever stay here? Uh, no, I've never stayed here. You've never stayed here in 10 years? No. Wow, so you bought a hotel, you invested in it with Mum, and you've never stayed here. I'm amazed. 446. And you've got no idea it's like this. What's the bathrooms like? Oh, my God. Do you know the shower curtains have got mold on them? No, I do not. Your housekeeper pointed it out. Look, there's hairs there. At this rate, I really should be wearing gloves. Oh, dear. A shower curtain.
What? 5,680. What in the fuck? Seriously? I, I don't have an answer for that at all. 5,680. That is the volume of live bacteria. I'm going to wash my hands. Fucking hell. 5,000. What in the hell's going on? I'm going to go and just check. 301. Sorry, Disturbie. Are you well? I'm so sorry. Do you mind? Listen, we've got some issues downstairs and found some pretty horrific stuff. I know you're getting ready for bed. I'm sorry. That's OK. I honestly didn't think they were going to put anyone in here today. Shit, I'm all right. Look, I'm sorry. That's mold underneath. <gasps> no, you denied. No, you denied, really. <laughs> that is disgusting. Um, I did a bacteria test. I've been doing them all day. On my shower curtain was mold. <gasps> I just took a shower. Oh, shit. We just give me two minutes, OK? Oh, my god. Let's go, come on, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Leave your bags there. Make your way down to the front, please. Leave the phone. It's not important. Customers are way more important. Leave the phone. Alarm. Customers out. It's alarm. Customers out. Let's go. Out. Barry, drop what you're doing. Go off the premise, please. We're not going to be serving this anyway. Quick, let's go. We've got to move. Fast on that. Let's go. Everybody stand at the front. Just wait two seconds. Is everyone out? This isn't the drill. First of all, I just want to apologise. There's no fire. More importantly, over the last three hours, all I've done is a bacteria test. No! I want to apologise to all of you, but I want to stop right now while I try endlessly to get through to the owner, who is totally oblivious. Is that the owner? <laughs> this is the owner. We all ate here. We were all playing on stay here, and you're smiling like a smirk on your face. What I'm not going to do is just allow this lady to laugh at me, you guys to pay good money and eat, and I'm certainly not letting paying guests stay to sleep here. I'm done. My team will assist you getting yourself out of there. Relax. There is no fire, but we are not going to continue. I want to stop right now and shut this place down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I need you now. Thank you. When are you going to get real? When are you going to stop, close the fucking door, and take a good look at yourself in the mirror? If I say anything, it's not believed, so what's the point? What do you mean, it's not believed? What is wrong with you? What I can... What is wrong with you? I... What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. It's just after 10 years, I'm here every single day. They don't like me and they insult me and they disrespect me every second they work here. They steal from me. They're on their cell phones for four hours a day. You're disrespecting every member of staff. You're blaming everybody for what you've created. Somewhere you switched off and ignored all the problems and took it out on the staff. That's what they're telling you. Yes, right? that's what they're telling okay. me. Right now, I'm going to tell you something you've never heard before. You're out of your depth. Last night, after shutting down the hotel and seeing Veranda had no communication with employees, I organized a staff meeting. Anyone down there? But Veranda was nowhere to be found. There you are, there. I've been looking for you. They said that you'd run away. No, I'm not running away. I, I don't know why they're fucking down. You don't want to be in front of the staff. Why not? My biggest problem is that you have shut down, and you refuse to let anybody in. I walk through the way those people steal from me every single day. And so you had some incidents with some bad staff years ago, and then you think everybody that comes through your door is, 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 is exactly the same. No, they're not. It's not about a one-on-one -on -one anymore. You can't just focus on one individual. And you've done that brilliantly in the previous career, 
Running a team, managing a hotel is completely different. Right, okay. We need to get the team back on side and they need to believe in you and you need to believe in them. It's a two-way thing. Well, it's a process too. It is a process. Yeah. But if you don't walk back through those doors and face the music with me, then I'm going to go as well, because I can't do this without you. I, I don't know how. Let me show you how. Uh, well, first of all, um, thanks for coming in early this morning. Um, listen, this is hard. There seems to be a massive conflict. How do we get the trust back in the room? What would you like to see change? We just did a funeral last week, 90 people, and there was two servers, zero bussers, zero bartender. Well, of course it's a money issue, it's a budget issue. So but, I took it over, and that is why. We, we, we had a schedule on Monday for the cooks. We come back Tuesday, the schedule's completely changed. Do you do the schedule? Mm -hmm. But this should be the chef's job. Absolutely. You need to be responsible for your own departments. I mean, like Macy's responsible for the kitchen, Tammy's responsible for the events. You have to offload the work from you and give them the responsibility. I guess that's a mistake. When was the last time you all had a meeting? We had a service staff meeting in here that we get yelled at, and it just gets hostile, and people get up, and me included, and walk out, and it just doesn't yeah. help you... anything. Let's stop there. We're not. It's not but a this is why. Mess. This is why no one wants to. No one ever if, says anything. If you anything want a manager, you can't get your voice to wait a minute. But you must understand now. That's the wrong way to handle things. There seems to be a really bad vibe in the room that we can't shake off. But the if you want to clear the air, people need to turn their phones off when they walk in and clock in. Can I, can and I, leave can their I say something about the, the phones? I have said that a million times, please do not bring your cell phones in here. And invariably, I come in at 2 o'clock, I see you guys outside on your cell phones. Never that seen is me a on break. My cell phone. no, you never see me on my cell phone outside. Not, you know, okay, fine. I mean, you know, maybe you're not doing outside. it, but other people are doing it. Why is there so much distrust in this building? It's the people stealing from me, drinking on the job, doing shots over here. That's not now. We're talking it's as if it's present. It's not today, yes, but there is, I mean, you but know. These guys aren't taking shots. But what I'm trying to say, you're, you're accusing them of somebody else's bad practices. What you need to stop doing is blaming them for the past. Can you trust your team? Tell them that. OK, I'll try. Please. But I can I can promise. Well, I can only try. Look at that smile. That will go a long way. We all know it's not going to change overnight. It's a process. So we need to embrace that process, and we need to install confidence. I'm open to the change that he wants me to follow, if that's what's going to make this place a success. I feel like the staff meeting was a step in the right direction. Veranda seems to be coming around, but I want to make sure she is 100% committed. Morning. Uh, thanks so much for coming. I really need to talk to CJ privately, because he's the one person who can help get through to her. Uh, CJ, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be upfront. I'm not dealing with a hotelier. Um, I'm dealing with your mum. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure she holds a special place in your heart, but unfortunately she's running around like a dictator and she's yeah. not letting any of the staff breathe. She's stifling the business. I've had conversations with her about a few things similarly. I've told her um, the way we were brought up and raised in India, that tone and conversation doesn't work here. And uh, she struggled, to be very honest, adapting to that part of it. Um, you adapted brilliantly come to this country. But she's one tough cookie, yes. you know that. Yeah. She is nitpicking the staff, and then she's not giving any of them responsibility. She needs to be less hands-on okay. and more supportive. No, I know. I know. This is crazy. Mid-60s, she shouldn't be running around like this. No. She was very honest with me last week. She told me, I want to spend more time with the kids, and my time is running out. And I haven't heard her say that 
ever. All right. But she needs to let go. OK. So how can I help? I need a commitment from you. You've got to be there to support her. We need to get rid of that stubbornness from your mum mm -hmm. and make her understand that this business can be fruitful. She just has to step back. OK. We can't continue like this. It's do or die, and we need to step up. OK. All right. I'm going to have a talk with her today. Please. We got one more shot at this. After spending time with CJ, he clearly sees the issues his mother has, and I have asked him to reinforce the changes she needs to make. What we should talk about is how do you let go? The responsibility is shifting, which means you don't run around doing things. If it's Maceo's kitchen, if you're making that decision, it's not your problem to deal with. Let Tammy and the kitchen chef yeah, do uh, everything. I had learned it the hard way at my job. I was, I was working 70 hours a week, mother. Yeah. But when I got the team in place and I stepped away, I only get involved when there's an escalation. OK. All right. I mean, you know, I, I can do that. But... And you know what? Let's see what happens. With Veranda on the right track, the next order of business is starting the renovation process. The Brick Hotel needed drastic changes, so my team worked through the night to get the hotel ready for relaunch. Welcome to the new Brick Inn. <gasps> wow. Oh. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. This is <laughs> it is. <laughs> Would you like to come up and see my room? Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to take a nap. I'm taking a nap. I think I might have to come check it out. <laughs> oh, no. Everything about these rooms are amazing. Wow. I'm excited to come to work and clean. Come on, Vanda, jump on that. Go bed. ahead. Come on, jump down. Oh, my God. If you do it, I'll oh, do it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Very nice. Thank you so much. Oh, you're oh, welcome. Yes. welcome. After updating the Brick Hotel with a modern look, I give them a classic menu that is perfect for the town and can better accommodate catering for the large-scale events that take place at the hotel. Hi, good evening. Welcome to the Brick Hotel. As for the relaunch, I invited the locals not only to dine at the Brick. How are the first couple bites of everything? Oh, fantastic. You're the best golf I've ever actually had in my life. But to tour the renovated rooms as well. <gasps> my, look at oh, this. Wow. Oh, my God. Look how nice this is. Ah. While on the hotel side, everything has been well received. The kitchen is running smoother than ever. Meatballs, arancini, sprouts, turkeys. Yes, one at a time. 86 Brussels sprouts. Yeah, 86 Brussels sprouts, please. 86 That's Brussels sprouts. That's a good sprouts. sign. Thank you. And with CJ having a presence. Right up, Brussels sprouts. Nice. Can I go get them? No, what do you mean, go get them? He's able to prevent his mother from slipping back into her old habits. It's okay. Let her go. You said it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Yeah. Now she can focus on her duties as an owner. It looks, it looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks well, really nice. Great job. Customers are happy? Yes. Yes. First of all, it's so nice to see you smile. Yes. You had to walk around this town with your head up high. Well, I apologize for the difficulty I gave you initially. <laughs> OK, and the only thing I want to see you do is, from time to time, come in here and walk around like you did all night tonight with charm and grace. I've told them that you are banned from behind that line. <laughs> OK, good. All right. I promise you all this stuff will happen. Promise me. Yes. Pinky I'll, promise. Pinky <laughs> promise. I'm not a person who expresses joy or in a, you know, jumping up and down and things like that, but it's really, really wonderful. It's given us a lot of oxygen for a second life. Best wishes. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Thank you. After leaving the brick, the reputation of the hotel was on the mend. CJ became a more visible owner, and Veranda stayed true to her word in trusting her staff to do their jobs. And her employee turnover is at an all-time low. With these changes in place, the brick is well on its way 
to being what it once was. 